Hi all, welcome here, Param again. In this video, we will see what are the settings available with respect to the security perspectives. Okay, so Grafana instance, we are going to provide a lot of dashboards. Dashboards comes with a lot of insights. Okay, so it has to be secured, right? Okay, so there are several options are available to secure the Grafana instance so that the right people, right person okay, uh, can access the right resource. So that is the importance of security, okay, securing the Grafana instance. Okay. So in this video, in, in this case, I have, um, I have uh, separated two things, two sections, two, two port, port portions. One is some of the securities available in both edition both enterprise as well as open source edition and some of the edition, some of the settings only available for the enterprise editions okay so first let's see what are the uh, settings are available settings are available only for the uh, open source editions okay okay let's go here okay mm, yes there is uh, by default, I mean, we, we can enable the anonymous success, okay, for the dev environment, for the dev environment at least. But for the production environment, it's advice like don't enable the anonymous success. Obviously, we are, we are not, we are never going to do, okay. And we can uh, put, uh, run any proxy server like an NJNX, okay, uh, kind of reverse proxy in front of the Grafana, okay, to provide more security, okay. So, that is, uh, that is another level of security. Of course, firewall rules. Okay, so uh, who I mean, what are sorry, not uh, firewall rules? Not user specific. Okay, it is network specific. Okay, so we can configure what are the ports or uh, uh, ports has to be enabled um, in, enabled in the firewall rules. That's why also you can restrict. Let's say uh, let's say in Grafana uh, we expose one port usually three thousand to access the web URI, but there are some couple of other ports also can be enabled to get insights or metrics everything right so you can disable okay what are the ports has to be enabled so that's why uh, that, that's why okay that's how you can like, at least you can the, you, know, you can restrict uh, user access the um, metrics or insights of the grafana okay and yes uh, limit the host address or host name uh, okay host name for that as also okay what are the uh, IP addresses and uh, uh, host names it can be accessed? Okay, that means yes, Grafana uh, Grafana going to pull data from the many other source, many other data source, right? So each data source uh, may be exposed, uh, may, may be running different machines, right? So in that case also you can limit. These are the IP address or these are the host name only it can go access. These are the things it cannot. In that case. Yes, yesterday I said right we can configure data source proxy okay then uh, remote catch uh, remote catch is nothing but okay uh, usually uh, the authentication session in within the Grafana there are two level two type of two kind of information can be cached one is uh, authentication information another one is query and dashboards right query and, dash and the dashboard uh, can be catched right? Uh, for frequently accessing the dashboards okay so that, so that they will get more performance but similarly uh, authentication information also can be catched again with these three database uh, it can be in memory or mem cached or it is okay in fact database also okay in, in, in the data, database also it can be cached okay yes that is that is the only things okay then user so whatever the uh, what what are the user level access can, uh, can um, and it can be um, uh, let's say if this uh, what is a basic level authentication so we will configure here okay uh, so any level of uh, how what how long the user user authentication session can be expired how many session can be opened okay um, and uh, uh, there are several several options are there okay. Uh, let's see. I think I have opened here. If you want, you can see here. Yes, here. Sign up need. Uh, sign organization says I sign up need allowed or not. Okay, auto sign. Verif uh, email verification has to be there or not. Uh, okay. Similarly, what is a password hint? Okay. Mm, then, okay, hidden users. 
uh, how long they, it, it can be expired so all the steps okay. all the steps you can be configured or in fact what is home page for a particular user or not particular user for everyone in fact okay service account service account as i said it is alternative to the api key right it is alternative to the api, API key was used it is it is it is replicated in fact so service account we can configure um, and and so service account the purpose of the service account is to uh, to authenticate with the grafana by any programming or any automation okay okay that's how that is and all those settings are go, goes there then sso settings yes sso saml right sorry saml available uh, only in the grafana sorry enterprise editions but sso settings can be configured here i'm not sure aws and azure okay but in fact i have not used hmm? uh then security here yes the important thing is ah, yes yes okay so admin level of information right so by default it will come with admin username password right so that settings can be configured here what no how come it can say no okay so admin level Oh, it is not coming. Okay, there is some. There, uh, I think it was in beginning itself, I believe. Okay, so the uh, default admin username password, uh, admin can be enabled or not, all the stuffs. Okay, uh, it was there somewhere. Okay. Um, Annotations. no okay i th i think i i i, I could not find okay sorry security yes here you can see the admin username admin password okay what the admin email id secret key all the stuff okay so anything related to the admin you can uh, you can you can configure the settings in security block that is what here secret scan a secret scan is kind of features okay and they are saying like within the git hub any of the secret token has been pushed or not that can be scanned yeah and they, they are saying they want to on call integrations okay on call grafana on call is a paid tool a separate product so uh, on call on call is specifically for the uh, alerting purpose okay so that things they has to be configured so these are the these are the settings are available by default these are settings are available uh, are available in both grafana as well as enterprise editions okay so now let us see what are the settings are available in the um, enterprise edition 